G'day folks, it's Phil from 15 Minute Guitar Practice here. Today I'm bringing you some repeatable licks. Now I don't want you to misunderstand what I mean by repeatable licks. I don't mean that I'm going to show you a lick and I'm going to get you to repeat it two or three times because I don't really think you need my help with that, no. By repeatable licks, I'm talking about the mechanics of executing these licks, i.e. what is happening with your fretting hand or what's happening with your picking hand, or sometimes both, those elements are being repeated throughout the lick. So for example, if your fretting hand was making the same shape throughout the whole lick, then that would be really easy for your fretting hand to execute because it's just repeating the same thing. And similarly with your picking hand, if the lick has the same picking pattern throughout the whole thing, then your picking hand only needs to remember to do that one thing and just repeat the same thing it did the first time. And so the benefits of repeatable licks is your brain doesn't have to work as hard and nor do your fingers. And it tends to be you can get these up to speed and also uh, solidify them in your memory much faster because there aren't as many variables. So let's jump in and take a look. So I'm going to show you two versions of this repeatable lick. One is the first one I played and one you can use for the turnaround with a little tweak. So we're playing a 12 bar blues in A and I played some pretty generic stuff for the, the one chord and the four chord. Just kind of regular minor pentatonic stuff. And then after we returned to the one chord from the four chord, that's when I pulled out this lick and the lick sounds like this. So what we've got, we've got this repeating fragment with one note on the G string and two notes on the B string. So the shape is like this. Your fingers make this kind of diagonal shape and your second finger is higher than your first finger. Your first finger is one fret lower down than where your second finger is and it's also on the next string. So. Second finger's on the G, first finger's on the B. And then we keep on just adding this pinky. So we do this three times. And we slide it up two frets, the whole shape. Then we slide it up three frets. One, two, three. And then we kind of round it off with a little kind of country rock thing. So as well as the fretting hand being consistent, the picking hand is also being very consistent. The picking pattern here is down, down, up. And it might help you to get this up to speed to just practice those three phrases until you get used to the down, down, up picking pattern. And you can also do exactly what I just did, which was not even worry about the fretting hand and just co focus on the picking hand. Down, down, up, until you kind of get that in your muscle memory. Then you can get back to just practicing this. So later on, I play this lick again, but I tweaked one note in the third phrase so it would be in line with the notes of the turnaround. The turnaround is going like. So I had it like. So all I did there, like I said, I played the same phrases, same patterns, apart from tweaking the third one. So I played 6G and 5 and 8 on the B. Slid that up two frets to do 8 on the G and 7 and 10 on the B. 
Then this time it was this next note that I tweaked. And instead of playing 11 on the G, I actually played 10 on the G. Then I played 11 on the B string, bent it up a, a half step, released it and pulled off to 10 on the B, slid down on the B and kind of bent up slightly. And then lastly, I played 9 on the G string. So. Our next repeatable lick is admittedly a bit of a monster and certainly not as consistent with both hands as the previous example. But still, if you can get it up to speed, it's a killer one to be able to pull off. The picking hand is doing alternate picking, so that's consistent. And we've basically got two notes on each string. Two notes on the B string, two notes on the top E string. So that's consistent. But the shapes themselves change um, two or three times and then they repeat. So there is a repeating pattern in there. It's just not repeating immediately. Let me show you. So you've got... That's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. And that's the fourth one. Then after the fourth one... It's the fifth one that repeats. The fifth one is a repeat of the first one. Just in the higher octave. So the fifth one is a repeat of the first one. And the sixth one is a repeat of the second one we played. So... Then I bent up that note to get it to work with the, the E chord that was happening. And we descended in this kind of diagonal shape, starting at the 16th fret, 16, 17, 18. And then grabbed 19 because that coincides with the D. Um, and then, I think I went. And then a uh, lick to kind of turn it around. So I'm starting with two and five on the B string, and then three and five. Then move the whole thing up, and I'm starting with my first finger at the fifth fret, and I'm doing five and eight on the B, five and nine on the top E. Then move first finger to fret eight of the B string, and do eight, ten on the B, and nine, twelve on the top E. And then the whole thing kind of starts again. No, not quite. Moving to twelve, we've got twelve, fourteen. 12, 15. And then here at the 14th fret is where it starts to repeat. So just 14, 17. And then 15, 17. Which is the same as the, the lick we started with down here. Okay, then one more. We move up to the 17th fret. We do 17. 20, and then 17, 21. And that's all of the repeating lick bit. And then at the end, we just went, bent up from 20. Just a half step. 
and then I did so coming back down it was 16 on the E 17 on the B 18 on the G finally getting pinky to grab 19 on the B string 17 on the top E and then bending 19 up a half step twice and then finishing on 17 and then it kind of lick over the turnaround so that's all for today nice and quick nice and easy nice and usable if you want the tab for this lesson you can download it in the link below it's in the description and uh, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down leave me a comment be good to know how you're doing this is phil from 15 minute guitar practice saying bye for now cheers i haven't played guitar in a while look at my fingers <laughs> look at the skin shredding off that and that one yeah bro